Suppose someone takes 500 milligrams of vitamin C, but an exponential function modeling the amount of vitamin C in the body, given that the half-life of vitamin C is 30 minutes. For part A, we're asked about a function for the amount of vitamin C in the body using either the continuous growth model or the half-life model. In this lesson, we will be using the continuous growth model. I have another lesson that covers the half-life model. So we will determine an exponential function in the form f of t equals a times e raised to the power of kt, where a is the initial or starting amount, k is the exponential growth or decay rate, t is time in minutes or hours, and f of t is the amount after time t. Of course, because we have exponential decay, our k value is going to be negative. So let's first find the function when the time is in minutes, and then we'll also find the function when the time is in hours. So because we know the half-life is 30 minutes, when A, the starting amount is 500, F of T is 250 when T is 30 minutes. This gives us the equation 250 equals 500 times E raised to the power of K times 30 or 30K. And now we need to solve this equation for K. The first step is to divide both sides by 500. Simplifying, we have 1 half equals e raised to the power of 30k. The next step is to take the natural log of both sides of the equation. On the right side, we apply the power property of logarithms. Natural log e to the power of 30k is equal to 30k times natural log e. This gives us natural log of 1 half is equal to 30k times natural log e. But most of the time we just leave this off because natural log e is equal to 1. So I'll go ahead and leave that off. To solve for k, we divide both sides by 30. We're told to use at least four decimal places for k. So going to the calculator, when the time is in minutes, k is approximately negative 0.0231. which means when the units are in minutes, we have f of t equals 500 times e to the power of negative 0.0231t. Again, when the time t is in minutes. And now let's find k when we use time in hours. When time t is in hours, we need to recognize that 30 minutes is equal to one half an hour, or if we want 0 0.5 hours. So now we have to determine k again when time is given in hours. So to find k when the time is in hours, we set up the equation as 250 equals 500 times e to the power of, again, kt, but now t is one half or 0 0.5, giving us an exponent of one half t. And now we need to solve for t again, divide both sides by 500, which gives us 1 half equals e to the power of 1 half t. Same process, take the natural log of both sides, apply the power property of logs on the right side, which gives us natural log 1 half equals 1 half t times natural log e, Again, natural log e is equal to one, so we can leave that off. Solve for t, we multiply both sides by two. Simplifying on the right, one half times two is just one, one times t is t. We have t is approximately two times natural log one half. So if time is in hours, notice now k is approximately negative 1.3863. So if we want to have the time in hours, you would use the function f of t equals 500 times e to the power of negative 1.3863t. And again, this is when the units are in hours. So both of these functions are correct just based upon the units of time. And now let's answer some questions. According to the function, how much vitamin C is left after four hours? 
we're told to give the answer to the nearest whole number. So we can determine the answer using either function. We just need to make sure that we use the correct units for the time. So we want to use the function when time is in minutes. We need to recognize that four hours is equal to four times 60, or 240 minutes. That would give us f of 240 is equal to 500 times e to the power of negative 0 0.0231 times 240. And if we use the function when time is in hours, t is 4, giving us f of 4 is equal to 500 times e to the power of negative 1.3863 times 4. So let's verify we get the same answer, or close to the same answer, using either function. I say close because remember we did round k, and therefore there is going to be some error. Notice how there's a slight difference in the value, again because we're using rounded values for k, but to the nearest whole number, of course, both round to approximately two milligrams. After four hours, there's approximately two milligrams of vitamin C left. For part C, how long will it take for the vitamin C level to drop to 75 milligrams? Give the answer in hours to one decimal place. So to answer this problem, I'm only going to use the function when the time is in hours, which would be the second function here. To solve this problem, we set f of t equal to 75 and solve for t. This gives us the equation 75 equals 500 times e to the power of negative 1.3863t. To solve for t, we first divide by 500. The left simplifies to 3 twentieths. On the right, we have e raised to the power of negative 1.3863t. And now we take the natural log of both sides of the equation. On the right side, we apply the power property of logarithms. The right side is equal to negative 1.3863t times natural log e. And natural log e is equal to 1. So we can actually leave this off. Solve for t, we divide both sides by negative 1.3863. Simplifying on the right, we now just have t. t is equal to the quotient on the left, which we're told to round to one decimal place. Because of the six in the hundredths place value, we round to 1.4. We now know it will take approximately 1.4 hours for the vitamin C level to drop to 75 milligrams. I hope you found this helpful.